I'm Chip Taylor. I'm director of Monarch Watch, but I've got a lot of experience with bees. I've been working with bees since I've been 14 years old. And every day you can catch a swarm is a really good day, and this is one of those good days. We've got a swarm right ahead of us, right on top of me here, uh, just about six or eight feet up above in this tree. And I'm going to uh, show how to knock that swarm into this box, and then we're going to dump the bees right into what we call a, a nucleus hive, a small five-frame hive. That'll be sufficient to let the bees get started, so then we can move them into a, a larger hive a little bit later. All right, I'm right here with a swarm. I'm going to try to scrape the swarm off of this branch into this bucket, then I'm going to hand it to Jim. Uh, Jim's going to drop it on the tarp right in front of the hive, and we're going to try to get the bees to go in. It's going to be a little difficult. I may not get the queen on the first pass because I've got to hang onto this branch. I can't do this, this the way I'd like to do it, but uh, we'll see what we can get here. I should be able to get most of it. Now, as we have the bees, uh, Jim, you're get a shadow. We have the bees running into the box. This is what they usually do. They smell the odors of the combs, and they'll run in. And what the bees that are doing at the entrance, that's getting all this going, is that they're fanning. They're exposing a gland, which is called the Nazanoff gland. And that Nazanoff gland produces the pheromone that basically uh, says cluster here. This is where we're going, guys. This is home, and so they all run in. And it takes a while, and what we usually do is look for the queen here. I doubt if I got the queen, she's usually at the top of the swarm, and I had so many little branches on that limb that I didn't get all of the swarm. So chances are the queen's still up there. And so the difficult thing here is going to be to see if we've got the queen, and whether we have to scrape that tree again. And it, and it may be that they'll come down off that tree and go into this box all by themselves. But we don't have the queen, that's not too likely. That did not go well. Usually these things go a lot better, but I had to hang on to the branch at the same time I was trying to nudge the bees into the box. It would have been better if I had been able to scrape them off of that branch. Anyway, at this point, the bees are quite docile. You can do almost anything with them. Reach in there and grab a handful of bees. It's when you drop them on the top of your head that you got to watch out a little bit. And there's a very distinct odor here, the odor of the Nasnoff gland, which uh, has got a kind of a lemony scent to it. Citrusy scent. Can you get closer, Ann? So, are they reclustering up there, Jim? What's that? They reclustering? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to have to go at this one again. I may want to just trim off all those little branches and scrape it this next time. I don't see the queen in here anywhere. And I don't think we got her because she's usually right up underneath the, the, the uh, limb. Well, we can find out. We can wait and find out. If the queen is in here and she's not in that cluster up in the tree, what will happen is the cluster up in the tree will get really nervous and they will start looking for the queen. And if they pick up the Nazanoff scent down here, they'll come right into this box. So what we probably should do is wait 15 minutes just to be sure that the queen's uh, not 
that in the box because those will be, they'll break up up there. But the same thing might happen here. Realizing that the queen is not in this box, these guys might leave and join the swarm again. So it's going to be nip and tuck. We get the queen here or we don't. And that decides, that determines what we do next. You can just reach right in there at this point. Put your hand in there among these bees. And they're, uh, they're not interested in defending anything or stinging anything at this point. So, what we can do, we got some bees that are undecided here. We can just help them figure it out a little bit by moving them up to the rest here where they're requested in. 